Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. The new Game Hub V5.10 update is out and it's a major upgrade that's highly recommended. This update fixes a lot of PC emulator compatibility issues, so you can now enjoy much higher frame rates compared to the last version. It's a big improvement for playing Steam games on your phone, and the changes are really impressive. The developers are also fixing bugs and glitches every day, so things keep getting smoother. So make sure to like the video, and let's jump straight into the setup and see how everything works. To get started, you'll need two apps, the official Steam app and the the Game Hub emulator. The Steam app is optional, but I recommend using it if you already have a Steam library. Once you have both apps installed, open the Steam app and log in, or create a new account. On the homepage, scroll down a bit until you see the free games section. Click on it and go ahead and add all the free Steam games into your library. Here's a neat trick. Game Hub works especially well with PC game demo versions. So what you can do is add demo versions of popular PC games to your Steam library. This way, you can actually try out big titles for free right on your mobile. Once you're done, close the Steam app. Now, open the Game Hub emulator. Download the latest version, accept the terms and conditions, and log in with your Google account. Don't worry, it's completely safe. On the home page, you'll notice it's filled with a ton of high-end PC titles, but what we want is in the My Page section. Scrolling to the right, and you'll see different options like PC Link, PS Link, and Steam. Select Steam, then log in with your Steam account, either using your username and password or the QR code option. Once logged in, you'll see all your Steam games and the demo versions you added earlier. The the first game I tested was Red Match 2, an online FPS that normally runs only on PC. I downloaded it through the Game Hub download button and then opened the game settings from the three dots menu. Along with the usual options, there's now a new Steam category. Here you can pick the Steam client version, either lightweight mode or Steam 9866232. And I recommend using Steam 9866232 for better stability. You'll also see options for offline mode, cloud save sync, and network acceleration. Offline mode lets you play without internet, cloud sync should always stay on, and network acceleration is optional depending on your region. Once the settings were ready, I launched the game. It took a couple of minutes to load, but eventually I landed on the home page, and everything was running smoothly at around 60 FPS. When I started a new match and joined an online server, the game launched fine, but performance dropped to about 15-25 FPS. The strange part was that I couldn't find any enemies anywhere on the map. I tried switching to another server just to be sure, but the same issue came up. No players in sight. I couldn't tell if it was a problem with the emulator, or just something with the game servers themselves. One thing I did notice, though, is that when you exit the game, the cloud save feature works perfectly, so your progress is safe. The next game I tested was Muck, a survival sandbox title that has become pretty popular. This game turned out to be much more playable. I dropped the graphics to low settings and was getting around 40 FPS consistently. Gameplay felt smooth, controls were responsive, and overall it was definitely enjoyable. You can even try it in multiplayer mode, but I tested it solo, and it held up really well. Next, I tested another popular title, the Drive Beyond Horizons demo version. The game took a few minutes to start, but since demo versions are usually playable, I was hopeful. On the home page, everything looked stable with very smooth FPS. I jumped into multiplayer, but once the gameplay loaded, performance dropped to around 5-10 FPS, even on the lowest settings. From my experience, when the full version of this game releases, it will likely run at the same FPS levels as the demo. After that, I tried Schedule 1, a popular PC game demo that many players have been curious about. To my surprise, the game launched without any issues and I landed on the home page smoothly. I set all the graphics to low, then started a new game. Gameplay ran at around 8-10 FPS with a few stutters, but overall it was stable. While not fast, it was still playable enough to get a feel for the game, and it shows that Game Hub can handle even heavier PC demos to some extent. So that's my take on Game Hub V5.10 for playing Steam games on mobile. The update is a big step forward. Some games run smoothly, others have lower FPS, and demo versions vary. But overall, it's impressive that you can play PC games on your phone. Cloud saves work perfectly, so your progress is safe. If you face issues, you can stick to an older version until more fixes arrive, and the developers are actively improving the emulator. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment which Steam game you want me to test next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.